All right, everyone. So according to Ian Rappaport, he tweeted out this. Sources, Cowboys All-Pro Michael Parsons did in fact suffer a high ankle sprain in last night's win over the Giants. His status is to be determined. So listen, this is a big blow for the Cowboys because, you know, when you have Micah on that defense, it doesn't matter how well he's been playing or whatever. You just know at any point throughout the season, he could have that game where he dominates, right? You could He could have that game where he gets a bunch of sacks and, you know, fumble recoveries and just is a menace on the field. And not having him, this puts even more pressure on to Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb. You know, this puts more pressure now onto the Cowboys defense that's already been struggling, and now it's going to have to figure out without their best player. So do I know exactly how this is going to go? No. Um, you know, Dallas hasn't played great defensively with him. Without him, is that, you know, can it get much worse? Obviously, last night was a very good game for them. but. You got to remember, too, when, when we're talking about the defense of last night, one aspect of a good defense is certainly we give up field goals, we don't give up touchdowns. That is an aspect of, you know, a good defense. That kind of bend-don't-break mentality that works in the NFL 110%. I wouldn't deny that. But it was a little bit to the point where the Giants were kind of moving the ball well on them. Even though they couldn't run the ball, they were kind of doing whatever they wanted in the passing game. And... Had the Giants been able to get touchdowns, the Giants kind of would have ran away with that thing. You know, like if they were able to, you know, every time, think about it, you know, they Dallas scored 20, but they had five field goals, you know. So, I, I don't know. It just, it's a little bit of a warning sign that Dallas's defensive problems might not be entirely fixed, you know. if Because if this is a team that was able to capitalize with the amount of times they're getting down there, it could have been a different game. So, we'll see what happens here. This is a big blow to them. But there is some good news here, which is this isn't season ending. You know, that would have been the real blow, right? If this was season ending, this would have just been terrible because now Dallas is like, we wouldn't even get him back for the playoffs if we got it. And, you know, that's the kind of mentality that they would have. In this case, you know, now it's more of a survival thing. It's like, you know what? We just got to win the next game. Keep winning without him. And then once he's back, you know, we can plug him in. So you can kind of find a way to plug that, right? You can find a way to win one, two games versus trying to go a whole season without him. So I think they should be cautious with this. I don't kind of agree with the idea of, yeah, we, we need him back because we, you know, we just got to rush him back. I don't think that's the way to do it. You rush him back, he gets hurt more, then you're losing him for the year. You know, the way the NFC is going this year, the the way the NFC East looks, you can you can kind of be, as long you could just find a way to win a few games. You know, this isn't going to be a thing where it's like there's a team with, you know, 15 wins or something like that. I think you're going to be able to, you know, lose a bunch and still kind of have a late shot to make the playoffs. I would rather them be as cautious as they can with Micah, find a way to win without him. You know, if you got to outscore teams, outscore teams, but do not bring him back too soon. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.